Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn and use one of the newly introduced template which is into Power Automate for making of the state machine flows very easily. So few months back, I did one of my video where I created the state machine approval flows into Power Automate, but entire step was hand to hand custom ones. So now we have one of the template which actually you can directly use and start building or changing the cases based on your requirement. So we are going to see that workflow or flow within power automate so i am going to templates and i'll just simply search state machine and i'll wait for that template so this is the state machine process based on a document created in sharepoint so we are going to use this template so that we can build out our state machine flows very easily and very quickly so i am going to to continue so that i can start using this template and you can see like it directly opens into a new designer we can minimize the designer to have a full look and feel of this power automate so it starts when a file is created properties only and then it initializes one of the variable and that variable is status so this same kind of stuff which we did in our few months last video we initialize one of the variables so that we can track the status so that we can go into the each and every states based on the status and once you initialize the status then we used do until so this do until if i just click on this do until you can see like it collapse all the steps inside it and when i click on it so it, you can see do until has parameter as status and last status is complete till we get the status as completed it will be there in do until and by default count is 660 you can increase this count till 5000 that is maximum limit and this power automate you can do a set timeout for let's say 30 days or based on your requirement 28 days so that we should not get out of this until loop before this timeout condition so just remember this one otherwise your flow would not work as expected so once we set up this condition and again click on expand then we will get uh, all the states look and feel so this is a switch case which we used last time as well so switch case decides the condition which branch it should be picking up so if i click on switch you will see like switch is on status the variable which was created earlier and based on that variable we decide which branch to pick and we get into this new document created branch where in this action there is a scope where i can add multiple actions for example i am updating my document properties or the item properties back to a status whatever status is being changed so i'll just say update file properties and you can make a connection so i'll just go to change connection so that i can use a right one and i'll bind that to my document library and inside this and I have created one of my document library so if you see like this is a normal document library but having one status column if I added my status column you would find that I have these same statuses so that I can change whenever my state is being changed new document process document completing and this last one you can see you can say completed so that it can get out of your this uh, entire power automate so now going back again fixing this connection choosing the unique identifier from the dynamic content and i will say like this unique identifier is id of my file created so right now because we haven't set up the trigger so first of all we have to set up the trigger so because we were talking about the this template and then we directly went into the property so let's start fixing this up to set this run on one of my document libraries so i'll just say change the connection to point to my right connection and choose my document library from my right side and this document library is contracts so which i just showed you and once this connection is set we are all set with the trigger and then you can actually go to individual branches to set up so i'll just click again to my file update properties now i'll check pick my document library will pick my dynamic content from the state from the item which we triggering so I'll just scroll down to find out 
replace the ID we are going to use and I'll just add this and over here in this update properties I can set this status value as whatever you want because I wish to get into the new uh, state and before getting to the new state of this case too that is processing I wish to update my document library status with the next status so I'll just say process document so that it can while we are in the flow we keep on updating my status of my document as well so we are done with this updating status I just can minimize it and then by default in this template we are setting this process document so that I can get to the next branch and if I click on the case 2 you will find this process document is the uh, whenever it's equal to process document then it will end up into this branch again you can update the property of this file within this action and then move to the second one so I'll add again one file property update file property and in new designer there is a limitation right now we cannot copy so we have to write the action again connect it to this right connection set the site and set up the contacts and then again ID we will pick that ID from dynamic content same steps and, add. and over here and then this second branch will set the status to so that we can go to the next branch let's say uh, we can check what we want to set it up based on the status of the column so I'll just check and this is completing so completing is the key which will let us to the next state so state number three so this is how we have updated in this one and now once this status is completing then it will get into the case three and in case three also you can put one more update file property so that you can finally mark your document to the completed state so i'll just pick again this property chain connection or i can do fixed connection in one shot but it's fine and I'll just connect it to my right document library choose a unique identifier from dynamic content and again set that as ok and now we will set the document status as completed as my final status so this once this final status is completed you remember like we already set our do until condition to suffice this so status is equal to completed the variable status then it will get out of this uh, state machine flow and get into the final state so we are done with adding our update statuses and remember you want to capture the approval actions within these scopes then add the uh, respective actions for example start and approval process you can add up those and can very well capture the actions from the approvers and then do a state machine flow so it's very simple in hardly five minutes we have set up this entire uh, state machine workflow so now i'm saving it and we'll do a quick test and i'll rename that to state machine demo so that we remember what was our flow's name and now we will add one test document to our this contact library so that we can do a testing I just add it up default status I set it that up as a new document so that our power automate can go into the first branch by default so I'll go to my power automate I'll check the runs and we'll wait for it to trigger so it ran we are going inside to it and so right now when I saw my this running flows you can see like it would uh, redirect me to the classic designer instead of modern ones so we are fine we can actually check the status was new document so it suffice our case number one and when we go inside it set the update property as the process document and it set the variable of status as process document so that this case number two can be picked so right now you can see i have three occurrences of this switch if i go to next one so you will see the case two is executed in the next occurrence because we change the status to process document 
and in the uh, case 2 we updated the status as uh, completing and once the status variable is set to completing then it goes to the next occurrence next running part and that is case number 3 and in the case number 3 we again set the status or the column of that my contact document library as completed and final status as completed and that's how this final uh, do until closed up and it exited out of do until and if I go and refresh my this item you would see like final status is completed so you can very well include the other actions of approval in between these cases so that you can define your actual approval route for this any of the document and it can happen for any of the uh, list items as well so you can instead of this file created you will just use the item is created and the entire flow would be same you just need to set the customize it based on whatever status you are following in your state machine flows so you can very well build that so these are quickest way of building out any uh, power automate of flow with the state machines you are directly using the templates and putting up or pulling up your statuses that's it so i think like i found it very easy and effective so that's why i thought to share it with you all and if you like it please do like the video and do drop your comments if you have any questions so that's it for today thank you